AI browsers just changed everything. Three giants are fighting for your attention. Comet reads the web for you. Atlas brings chat GPT into every tab. Copilot turns your browser into an office powerhouse. Which one will change how you work forever? This is wild. AI browsers are here and they're replacing how we search the internet. Perplexity just dropped Comet. OpenAI released ChatGPT Atlas and Microsoft turned Edge into a co-pilot machine. Your browser now does the thinking for you. This changes shopping, it changes research, it changes work. And I'm about to show you which one wins for your business. So Perplexity launched Comet. It's their AI first browser and it went from limited rollout to global availability. This thing bundles a persistent AI assistant that can read and interact with pages. It runs background assistance while you browse. Comet is positioning itself as a free challenger to Chrome and Safari. They have optional paid tiers like Comet Plus and Perplexity Pro features if you want more power. Then OpenAI came out swinging with ChatGPT Atlas. This is a browser with ChatGPT built right in. It's designed to be a super assistant that works across all your pages. The cool part is it brings your contacts, your passwords, and your tabs directly into ChatGPT. So ChatGPT can actually see what you're doing and help you with it. This isn't just a chatbot anymore, it's your browsing partner. And Microsoft didn't sleep on this either. They expanded Edge with Copilot mode. This integrates chat, search, tab comparisons, voice input, and deeper browser task automation. If you're already in the Microsoft ecosystem with Office, this is huge. Edge Copilot requires a recent Edge version to get all the new functionality working. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now, here's what matters for you. Each company embedded their assistant with different priorities. Perplexity focuses on research and agency browsing. OpenAI built an assistant plus contextual workspace. Microsoft went all in on productivity and office integration. So which one should you actually use? That depends on what you need it for. Let me show you real tests. I'm going to show you what each browser can actually do. Not theory, not marketing, real demos. Let's start with Perplexity Comet because this thing surprised me. I gave it a research test. I said, find the fastest shipping option for this bike, compare prices and summarize everything. And Comet actually read the product pages. It pulled up a side panel assistant. It ran background assistance while I kept browsing. The agentic browsing is what stands out here. It doesn't just give you links. It does the research for you and shows you the sources. All right, so here's where I want to tell you about something that ties all this together. If you're trying to scale your business and you want to use AI to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation, you need to check out my AI Profit Boardroom. You'll get frameworks, templates, and direct access to what's working right now. The link is in the description. If you're doing product research or comparing options for your business, Comet handles that automatically. You're not clicking through 10 tabs anymore. You're not copying and pasting prices into a spreadsheet. Comet does that work in the background. This saves hours if you're shopping for software, comparing vendors, or doing competitive research. Now, let's talk about ChatGPT Atlas because this one hit different. I tested it with context and productivity tasks. I said, summarize these three tabs and make an email draft with key takeaways. And Atlas pulled everything together. It looked at my bookmarks. It accessed my saved passwords where I allowed it. It made suggestions based on everything I had open. This is the workspace feel. ChatGPT isn't just answering questions anymore. It's managing your browser like a teammate. If you're managing multiple projects or writing content based on research, Atlas keeps everything in one place. You don't need to switch between ChatGPT and your browser anymore. It's all integrated. And because it's ChatGPT, you get that same quality of writing and reasoning you're used to. But now it has full access to what you're working on. Microsoft Copilot in Edge is built for work and automation. I gave it a test. I said, compare these open tabs, create a booking with my stored sites and highlight conflicts. And Copilot mode organized my tabs automatically. It used voice input to take my commands. It even generated a Word doc summary and integrated with my Microsoft 365 account. If you're using Office for work, this is a productivity win. You're not leaving your browser to create docs or check your calendar anymore. It's all happening in Edge with Copilot handling the coordination. This matters if you're run, running a team or managing clients. You can automate repetitive browser tasks. You can have Copilot draft reports based on your open research tabs. You can use voice commands while you're on calls. The Office integration means everything syncs automatically. Your Edge browsing feeds into your Word docs, your Excel sheets, your Teams chats. But here's the honest take. 
Privacy and limits matter here. Each of these browsers handles data differently. You need to check the settings. Comet, Atlas and Copilot all have different privacy defaults and opt-in contexts. Some share data with the AI model to improve responses. Some store your browsing history to give better suggestions. Some link your account across devices. You need to know what you're opting into. There are also concerns about prompt injection, where a website could try to manipulate the AI assistant. This is early tech and you should understand the trade-offs. So here's my verdict. Comet wins for research and surf with agent tasks. If you're doing competitor analysis, product research, or deep dives into topics, Comet handles that best. It's built for people who need the AI to actively browse and summarize for them. Atlas wins for integrated ChatGPT workspace. If you're already using ChatGPT daily and you want it to live inside your browser with full context, Atlas is your pick. It's perfect for content creators, writers, and people who need ChatGPT to see what they're working on. Copilot in Edge wins for Office and productivity flows. If you're in the Microsoft ecosystem and you use Word, Excel, Teams, this is a no-brainer. The automation and integration save so much time. Here's how I think about it. If you're a researcher or someone who spends hours comparing options, go with Comet. If you're a creator or someone who writes and needs an AI assistant to help draft and edit, go with Atlas. If you're an office worker or someone managing a team with Microsoft tools, go with Copilot in Edge. Each one solves a different problem. And honestly, you might end up using more than one depending on the task. Now I want to hear from you, which one are you going to try first? What task do you want me to test next? Drop a comment below, Julian reads every single comment. And if you comment, you're helping this channel grow and get better content to you faster. The bottom line is this, AI browsers are changing how we work. Comet, Atlas and Copilot are all bringing AI assistance directly into your browsing and they read pages for you. They summarize tabs, they automate tasks, and they do it while you keep working. This isn't the future. This is happening right now. The question is, which one fits your workflow? Go test them. See which one saves you the most time. All right, so here's where I want to tell you about something that ties all this together. If you're trying to scale your business and you want to use AI to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation, you need to check out my AI Profit Boardrooms. You'll get frameworks, templates, and direct access to what's working right now. The link is in the description and I have something huge for you. If you want to make more money with AI, you need to join the free AI Money Lab with Julian Goldie. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents. You'll get access to 1000 plus free NAM workflows and you'll get a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you'll also get is a free AI community, a free AI course, and proven AI case studies. This is completely free. The link is in the description. Go grab it now. Thanks for watching. If you got value from this, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.